Just a quick update. I'm actually planning on making some new videos here soon. It's going to be a series, I believe, about three videos where I plan to start uh, building a PC that I purchased off eBay. Uh, I've been doing this for years. I really enjoy doing it. It's uh, something that I was doing long before I even played a video game. Uh, just repairing and building computers for people. Um, this one's going to be more towards the budget side of the video spectrum. Uh, I just want to show how even if you saved up just a few bucks a week, um, after about a month or two, you'd have enough to build a PC just like this. And also, I was going to go over how I kind of find these deals. Um, and also, um, how, how I... Um, how, how would it actually put them together and what to think about first. So uh, this is going to be a budget build uh, somewhere around about $150 to um, $160 at first. Uh, I'm going to go through the stages uh, through my videos of showing different things that I ordered for almost nothing um, and installed into it and at the very end probably wind up making a video using that PC and uh, showing you what kind of benchmarks I can get out of it in the gameplay. Um, now just to give you an idea of what I'm starting with, the first thing I'll show is the actual uh, listing. Oh, no, that's not it. This is the listing. Of course I took out anything having to do with my information or the seller's information, um, but I found this. Uh, it was an i7 PC. Um, nothing real special at first glance. In fact, um, while I was looking at this PC uh, for $129.99, I looked at the guy's feedback and I found that somebody else had already purchased this computer, received it, and had some problems. So nobody was in a hurry to buy this, which is fine for me because that allowed me to make an offer. Um, even at $150, I would still say it was a it was a pretty decent buy. Um, it's got a quad-core i7 with hyper-threading. I already had a GeForce graphics card, but not not something that I would recommend for anybody, for anything, really. It was old. Um, but uh, this is the description. Uh, used PC tower. Um, does not have hard drive. I didn't need one. It includes MSI X58M motherboard. I'm not a fan of MSI motherboards from that generation. It's got the LGA 1366 with an i7 processor. Uh, they didn't know which one, what processor was in it, which is fine. I actually planned on uh, receiving a computer with an uh, i7 920. I was very surprised to find out, by the way, that uh, this actually had a i7 960. So that was cool. Um, this, the uh, GeForce GT 220 not really important because I'm planning on just probably I don't know maybe even throwing it away or just sending it off to somebody I don't know uh, 6 gigabytes of RAM uh, DDR3 1333 however it's only showing 1066 no problem probably gonna overclock it anyway um, yeah it's pretty basic no operating system on on it because it doesn't have a hard drive um, I'll go into all the specifics of what I did to complete it because I've already received it. I've already made a couple of videos. Just haven't posted them yet. I uh, just want to get a feel for if anybody even wants to see one. Um, here's some pictures. This is just the inside. Nothing special. It's got the uh, micro ATX motherboard, um, stock cooler, stock 350 watt power supply. It's going to be going in the garbage soon. Um, Here's the front of it. Now, uh, the funny part about this, the front, when I received it, I don't know if it was already, you know, broken or what, but when I opened the box, this actually fell off. So it's not on there right now. I might tape it on for like, I don't know, maybe I think like the first part of the first video that I'm going to make. Um, next, the back, this is the I.O. Nothing special. A little dinky graphics card poking out there. Um, but yeah, just uh, want to make this video, and uh, if you uh, think it's something you would be interested in, just drop a like or, I don't know, comment, see what you'd like, tell me what you'd like to see. Um, I'm definitely going to be going through about two stages of it, because I received all my parts in two stages. 
and I'll go over pricing, overclocks, how to put it all together and what I did to make it run because when I received it it didn't actually run. I had some problems when I first got it but uh, also my budget that I went over the 150 to 160 ish dollars that's probably gonna cost me my first video of upgrades um, and that's including the purchase that 129.99 I don't remember exactly how much I paid though I think I made an offer but uh, we'll just go with that um, that's going to include the parts in my first video um, and the computer um, well yeah that's that's pretty much it I mean um, you should be seeing the videos coming up soon I uh, hope you like them and uh, like I said leave likes comments let me know what you guys want to see what you have questions about I'm always here to help that's why I started doing PC stuff to begin with was to help people out and uh, have a great day